Richard Preston was a minister, an activist, and an abolitionist. He was born an enslaved person in uh, Virginia in 1791. As a young boy, his mother was taken away from him and brought to Canada with other black refugees during the War of 1812. There are two versions of the story. One says that Preston escaped slavery. The other says that he had saved enough money to purchase his freedom. But either way, he made the long and difficult journey to Canada, determined to find his mother. As the tale goes, he was reunited with his mother on his first day of arriving in Nova Scotia. He heard about an area called Preston, and when he knocked on a door there, it was answered by his very own mother. Preston now had hope, he had faith, and he had a determination to make a change. He encouraged black men and women to build their own churches, to stand up to racism, and to learn about their history and their heritage. He traveled to England to become an ordained minister. And while he was in England, he was inspired by the abolitionist movement. He returned to Nova Scotia, not only as an ordained minister, but as a strong advocate of emancipation. He formed the African Abolition Society and spoke out about the immediate release of enslaved peoples. Richard Preston founded 11 Black Baptist churches throughout Nova Scotia. He founded the church where I now pastor in 1832 called Cornwallis Street Baptist Church. It is now New Horizons Baptist Church. In 1854, he founded the African United Baptist Association, and he was pastoring Cornwallis Street for 29 years until he died in 1861. When he established the African United Baptist Association, he dubbed Cornwallis Street the mother church of the association, and it still holds that designation today. Richard Preston's great legacy lives on, not only in the churches that stand in historic black communities across Nova Scotia, but in the freedom that black men and women have because people like Richard Preston took a stand and left their mark on this world. In 2009, Richard Preston was deemed a person of national significance and a commemorative plaque is mounted by Parks Canada outside of New Horizons Baptist Church in Halifax, Nova Scotia.